Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be installing a home link auto dimming rear view mirror on 10th gen Accords. This mirror fits trims LX all the way up to the EX that does not have the auto dimming mirror. This, this is the mirror that they come with. Mine is currently broken. So since mine is broken, I am currently using my screen as a rear view mirror. So I just bought 20 amp fuses for the harness. Let's get back to the house and install this mirror. All right guys, we're back at the house. This is the rear view mirror. This mirror you typically get in your EXL and up trims, but Honda apparently they sell it for the lower trims as an accessory. It replaces this one. So I'm gonna show you how to take off this mirror, how to route the wires right here, plug them in and get it working. All right guys, first we're gonna disconnect the negative battery terminal. All right guys, after you disconnect the negative battery terminal, we're gonna take a T20 Torx bet and we're gonna unscrew this mirror right here, the original one. And then you're just gonna pull it out and that's about it. Don't need that no more. All right guys, so little change of plans I got a cameraman now and it kind of started raining a little bit outside but we're gonna continue this install so where we left off we took off the mirror so now we're gonna take this whole center console off so I'm gonna show you what to do right now we're gonna take all these lights right here we're gonna put our pride to right here and pull this out as you can see That's both sides all right guys so now we're gonna take out these four screws in here. There's one screw on each of these lights and there is two where the sunglass holder is. One and two, so we're gonna unscrew these. Now that we got all four bolts out, you're gonna push the front down and then the back's gonna slide out. And then there is a few little connectors you have to disconnect. All right, so now we gotta pull the clips out of this. So we're gonna put a car to one here and push that out so you can see. Here. Put this to the side. Now for this, same thing, you gotta pry this out on each side. Two more on this side. And then you can unclip this. All right, now we're gonna head over to the pillar on the driver's side. We're gonna take off the bolt here and take off this whole side pillar. Now we're gonna take out this eight millimeter bolt right here. Now we're gonna pull off this weather stripping and then pull this out. This is also held on by a clip. Put this to the side. All right guys, so now we're gonna come to this side and we're gonna pull off this side panel right here. But first we're gonna take off the bottom rack panel because I know this is held, held on by a screw. So actually I'm gonna peel this off first. This comes off easily with clips. And then you're gonna pull this side off. There's two clips over here you just pull out and then push this forward. And then now we're gonna get under here and take off the screw after we take off this panel also. Yeah, forget about this panel. Careful when you pry this out, there is a connection right here. You don't want to break it. And now we're going to get to this screw finally right here. And we're going to screw this. All right, now we're going to take our pry tool and come to the side of this and we're going to pry this out. See, so it comes over. Now we're gonna go grab our wiring harness and I'm gonna show you where to plug everything in. So we're gonna take this section of the harness with the grounding and the plugins. We're gonna plug it in under here where the fuse box is. There's two spots where you plug this harness in. You plug it in one right here and you plug the other one right here behind this fuse. I don't know if y'all can see that. Plug it in there. So we're gonna take these two plugs, plug the first one in here. Plug the second one in here. Okay. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ground this here with the fuse. I think you wanna first, you wanna put your fuse label on these. So we're gonna take our fuse label stickers that they give us in the kit and we're gonna put it on here. These are two A fuses. So we're gonna take two of these and put it on the caps of these. So we know or anybody else knows that that's the fuse you put in here. So any in instructions is saying to unscrew this and put it here, but I don't even think this is metal. It doesn't look metal metal to me, so I'm just gonna actually ground it over here to this bolt. So what I'm gonna do is snake the wire through here. I'm gonna take the ground point right here. So now that we got that grounded, now we're gonna snake this wire through here where we took off. We're gonna put the wire through here where we took off this panel and we're gonna put it through a pillar and get it to the middle. Here, you're probably gonna to wanna to take some of the zip ties that come with it and zip tie it down. So you're gonna take your new mirror and we're gonna take out the torx bit that it comes with. It's the same size as the one we took out. And we're gonna put in our new mirror. Now we're gonna screw in. Now that we got the mirror in, you're gonna to wanna to plug in the wire to the back of the mirror, just like that. Now that you got that plugged in, you're gonna take this piece there's two pieces to it, top and bottom. So we're gonna put this piece in first. We're gonna put the wire in, see how much we need. And then you're gonna push this end right here. You're gonna put this end first and then push this back. And make sure the wire is tucked inside of it the way you want. Once you get that all in, then you're gonna take this half and then you're gonna put snake this back here and then Pretty much just adjust the mirror. So now that that's all in, we just put everything back together. As you can see, everything's apart. Before we put everything back together, we're gonna have to put in this 20 amp fuse and the new label so that you know you, where the fuse goes. The label, we're gonna put add our new label on here on the seventh slot right here. This is where you're gonna add our new label. Take the 20 amp option fuse and put it right there. label and then let's put our fuse in the fuse box all right guys so we're gonna take this 20 amp fuse and put it in the fuse box where all the fuses are so we're gonna come all the way to the left and start from the top and we're gonna go down to four spaces it's the empty space that's where the fuse goes so if you guys don't know it starts from here and goes left so it starts one then you know two three four and so on and so forth to the end of the fuse box. Guys, right, so now that we connected everything back together and put the battery back in, 
as you can see, you can test your mirror. All you do is just press this. The home link works. That's if you put the fuse in. And then check out the mirror works. A little light right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. A little light right here. If this is on, that means obviously the auto dimming works when it's off. The auto dimming is off. Obviously, I want it on. And that's it for the mirror, pretty much. I'll give you a nighttime clip view of the mirror, and that's it. All right, guys, here is the nighttime drive of the auto living room mirror. As you can see, there's cars, and I can turn it on, and then you will see the headlights start dimming. And this is with tints on the back window. As you can see, the tints don't really do that much work with 20%. Maybe if I go darker, it probably do something, but yeah, this is the mirror at night. That'll be it for the installation of this rearview mirror. If you guys haven't seen our previous video, it'll be right here on top. Below it will be a random video. And then to this side of me, you'll see the subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.